yeah good day guys we're going continuing from where we stopped in the previous video i have formulated some questions here and we have not even attempted them so we're going to attempt them together we're going to attempt the two questions together now, the first one in a university of 10,000 students with mean age of 25 years and standard division of five years a group of three students were sampled find the mean age of the samples that's one then also find the standard deviation and the variance of the samples um, let me cross over to this side now according to the question we have a population 10,000 as the population that the entirety of the student the all the uh, all of them all of them the whole students okay and we have the mean age that's for the population so you can let's try and write out we don't really need the population let's just the population size is this now we are given the mean of the population remember the question is university of 10,000 students with mean age of 25 years and standard division of 5 so we have the mean age to be 25 years and we have the standard deviation of the population to be what 5 years okay good the question now goes for and says a sample a group of three students to a sample that means in each sample you have three students three to a group of three were sampled three three like that was sampled find the mean age of the samples the total number of samples now this one is straightforward that's theorem one uh, with sampled with or without replacement remember sometimes the question might not state where that they are sampled with replacement without replacement but then we need to apply you know if you are picking group of three students you can't sample them with replacements isn't it since you have you're picking group of 33 students each from the whole population so whether they are sampled replacement or without replacement sometimes it's stated sometimes it won't be stated but then you have to apply even if, if it's not stated you try to understand the question and apply but in this case whether it is with replacements or whether it is without replacement it doesn't really affect anything so we told to calculate first the mean, the mean of the sample. Remember from theorem one, with or without replacement, the mean for the population should be the same as the mean for the sample. So we can tell that the mean for the mean age for whatever samples they have chosen should be what, provided if sampled them correctly, should be also 25. Should be 25 as well. Okay. And the next question is find the uh, standard deviation and variance for the sample now okay now I'm going to assume they were sampled with replacement now let's assume let's uh, put in the question assuming assuming the sampling was done with sorry replacement okay I, I hope we all get that so and there's a reason why i did that because we've not treated without replacement yet for variance and standard deviation so we're told to calculate the variance let's start with standard deviation since standard since standard deviation is straightforward we're told to calculate the standard deviation of the sample well, remember we have the standard division of the population here which is five years so we can then say the standard remember the theorem the standard division of the sample should be the same as the standard division of the population all over square root of the sample size so we can then say standard division that's five square root of sample size which is what square root of three so if I'm to bring out my calculator and punch it out, 5 divided by square root of 3. Sorry. 
let me do it again square root of 3 okay so the answer is 1.73 1.73 and that is the sample standard deviation now how do you get the popular uh, the sample variance remember that standard deviation is what the square root of the variance so we can just simply square and we can also say variance is the same as what square root a uh, square of standard deviation since it is you are finding the opposite so we can then say 1.73 square then with that we get with that we get the uh, uh, with that we get the standard deviation so let's let me quickly do that here square root of 1.73 that's 2.99 2.99 and that is that is as simple as that so the theorems are very important please try as much as possible to know them try as much as possible to know them we're already entering the difficult stuffs mm -hmm. in statistics and i can tell you that they're not so difficult if you understand them if and if you understand them they're not so difficult so let's continue with the second question a team of four players each totaling 20 teams were selected from a school team consisting 200 players with average experience of 10 years and standard deviation of two years now this question is a little bit tricky and i'm going to take time to explain it okay a team of four players each totaling 20 teams we are selected from a school team consisting 200 players now from what we have here we can see, see we can say that 200 is the sample uh, population size because that's the total number of players in the school team on the school team okay and uh, we told that they are average that the average experience the average experience is what 10 years with a standard deviation of two years okay that's good now but there's something a little bit confusing here since a team of four players each totaling 20 teams now which of these two is the sample size is it four or is it 20 that is a little bit confusing is it four is it 20 um the answer is four now how is it four remember we said sample size it is the number of samples you are picking at a go not the total from the question four players were selected each a sample contains four players has a team containing four players so that one team is a sample and you have 20 teams so that means you have 20 samples like that but in each of them you have four players so that means the sample size is what four the sample size is four <coughs> the sample size is four and um in order to solve this uh, the sample size is four now the first question is find the mean remember whether you sampled wheat or track without replacement here we are also assuming that the sampling was done 
with replacement so with or without replacement the sample size um, the sample mean should be the same as the population mean so the sample the average experience for the samples should also be what 10 years okay now let's get the variance and the standard deviation so first and foremost remember the standard deviation for the sample should be what standard deviation of the population divided by square root of sample size yeah so the standard deviation for the population is two years the sample size remember four players on a team two divided by two which is what one okay and then um, in order to calculate the variance all you just need to do is we'll do what you square you square you square the standard deviation which is one square and it is still one so i hope we all understand um, sampling distribution with replacement when considering the mean the variance and the standard deviation